Joining me now here on the MMA Report podcast, Extra is a man that you might have seen from his pro debut where it doesn't happen very often that a pro debut goes viral, but this one did. Lindsey Jones, as he went out there, a devastating knockout over Kid Cash there at Valor Fights 38. Lindsey, uh, appreciate you taking some time out, out of your training schedule. Uh, you know, obviously, pro debut, uh, you know, a lot of times for guys, there's there's really no, nothing, there's no publicity around it. But for you, there was a ton of publicity about your fight. Uh, what, what do you remember most about that, just that, that whole experience? Oh, man, it was, it was different. It felt different than going into a regular fight because I knew he had a big name going into that from wrestling. So I knew a lot more people were going to pay attention to our fight. But everything else the same. The lead up was the same. Training was the same, and it felt good that night. It felt good going in there and getting the first round finish. De- devastating knockout there. Yeah. Uh, the stoppage comes very quickly. Did Did you think it was going to come that quick? <laughs> uh, I actually did. I knew it was going to come pretty quick. I knew probably about the first minute or so. As soon as I hit him with the right hand, I caught him right behind the ear and he turned away. And I knew it was game over then for him, and I just kept hitting him till he uh, till he dropped. You know that that fight was on uh, Flow Combat, and it, it was pretty pretty instant that they had just they'd put the gif out there of yours. I mean, uh, yeah. at what point does the notifications on your phone stop? Of you know, Facebook messages, Twitter mentions, Instagram messages. When when did it finally start to tone down a little bit? It actually is still going on right now. I'm still having people message me about it. People are still coming up to me at the gym and different places out in public talking about the fight, asking about the fight, what's next, you know? So all the, I guess you could say the fame from that fight still hasn't off yet. You know, we're two, I think two weeks after the fight and it's still going strong. So it's going good. You know, I, I remember uh, talking to Lima Lay McFarlane, who everyone knows her as the fighter who beat up the soccer mom there at Explode Fight Series. And, you know, she kind of, you know, she got to the point where she said, you know, I, I do want people to, to recognize me much more than, than what I did that night. She goes, it wasn't my fault. That's just who they put in there with me. But for you, is it just one of those things of, for now, you, you embrace it, but at some point you're like, okay, you know, this, this can't be the story of Lindsey Jones. Of course, you know, I'm going to embrace it right now since it was the pro debut and the fame to come behind it. I think that's going to be a good push, you know, going into my later fights, especially deeper into my career, you know, trying to get into a bigger organization. You know, that little fame right here, I'm going to uh, live it up as much as I can with it. But I'm definitely looking to go deeper and actually make a big name on MMA as a good fighter. I know I've talked to your management about the nickname Sweet Tea. Let all my listeners know the yeah. – well, I know I know the story of the origin of the nickname – but let all my listeners know uh, the origin of the nickname Sweet Tea. Man, so some of these guys down at the gym where they think I needed a new nickname, some of the guys back from Georgia would call, call me El Toro. And they, they didn't like that too much. But I'm this, you know, southern gentleman from Georgia. I love Sweet Tea. The best. Hey, Sweet Jones, it stuck with it. And, hey, I'm rocking it right now. I'm trying to make some, uh, some names with it, man. Well, and look, someone's got to give you the nickname. You can't give the nickname to yourself. Oh, I didn't. Uh, one of my pr- uh, training partners from Louisiana, his name is JD. Yeah. He gave me the nickname. So props to him for uh, helping me out and giving me that new, uh, new, very fancy nickname. And of course, that's down there at American Top Team. Lindsay mentioning JD DiMaggio, who we've had here on the show in the past and obviously you mentioned it's two weeks since that fight is over you're already back in training we can hear it in the background you're there at the gym uh, you know what is it you know what is is it just simply just back in the gym and just working on the tool set is that just simply and getting ready for whenever the next fight may come i was actually back in the gym the following monday back on the mats back in the jiu back wrestling it's a uh, it's a never-ending cycle for me i don't really take time off after fights, I constantly stay on there. And I'm working on the weak points in the fight because even though it was a short fight, I felt like I still made errors in there. And I still could have been, you know, cleaner with a strike. And different things I had done. So back at it and, you know, working on the weak points of the game. How much do you go, you know, I mean, obviously that fight, there, there's not a ton of footage to go back on, but how much do you tape your, your sparring sessions that were leading up to that fight in – and maybe trying to just do the, the self analyzation of yourself and to try to figure out, um, you know, are there telltale signs you're giving away? What are the weaknesses? Do you do that at all? 
Uh, kind of. I, you know, I'm really not very uh, big into sparring. I do a lot of drilling, a lot of wrestling, and a lot of striking drilling. So I only had three uh, sparring sessions before this fight, and I actually did end up recording one of them. And we looked from the sparring, hey, we need to work on this, we need to work on that. But most of my, um, my critique comes from my coaches during my drilling and kind of my flow sessions. That's where a lot of the stuff comes from. I'm not very big into sparring. I'm not a big into taking the punishment uh, in training. I try to stay away from that. What, where does the uh, thought process come from uh, on um, you know, not being big on sparring? Is it something that just um, you feel it just works out best for you? Yeah, I feel like it uh, works out best for me because when I spar too much, I feel like I get beat up. I'm sore, and then coming into the next training session, I don't feel 100%. Me personally, I know I can fight. You know, I know I can get in there. You know, when the time comes, I can throw back and do what I have to do. And I like to put more of an emphasis in the technique, getting my technique sharp. So, when I, you know, if I'm just so much technically better than the guy, he won't be able to beat me. So always drill, always work technique, and come up in shape and on weight. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, second pro fight here, going, you know, hasn't been uh, officially announced this time, but uh, should be announced here uh, in the near future. I mean, uh, can, can you top the first fight or is it uh, you, you, or are you always trying to top the, your, your last performance? Oh, man, I can definitely top this first fight. You know, I'm going to go out there, second fight and uh, get a fish again, something that can give me maybe some more fame. But, uh, you know. I'm always trying to uh, get out there and push my name and, and get bigger and bigger. So, you know, so hopefully good things will happen. Anywhere where, uh, you know, fans uh, can follow you on social media? They sure can. I have Facebook, Lindsey Jones. And then I also have a uh, Instagram account, which is uh, Lindsey Jones. One seven. I also have Twitter, which is uh, double zero. Also, so I have uh, the three things they can follow me on. They can check out my training some of my fight videos, and overall just my life. And the uh, things that go down for Sweet T. Jones. Lindsay, I appreciate the time, man, and good luck here in the future. So thank you so much. Thanks, Jason.